You know, it's crazy because as big as country music is, there was rivalries in country music. Absolutely. There's rivalries in rock. There's rivalries in R&B music, as you know. But it never leads to this. You know, what can be done? You know, you lived through the whole Biggie and Tupac rivalry. And like you said, you would think that our culture would have learned from that. In your opinion, what can be done to end this cycle of violence? I think, in, in my opinion, the OGs that see it have to step in. And I mean the OGs that are respected on their level. They, it's different. These kids are getting more money pressed than we've ever seen in our lives. Yep. These kids are getting bread because there's so many, you know, so many festivals out there that they could do and get a part and be a part of. You know, they're not taking, they're not doing free shows no more. They're getting 100 grand to step on stage for an hour, 200, 300. Sometimes in the case of Megan Thee Stallions and Cardi B's, it's over $500,000 to do an hour show. So they're only going to respect somebody that's getting money on the level that they're getting money on. If you're an OG, you're not getting that money on their level, they're not even trying to talk to you. So I'm talking to the OGs right now, the billionaire OGs, the Dr. Dre's, the, the you know, I love what, what JB doing, the way JB taking care of certain people, making sure dudes is good, you know, taking care of lawyer fees and stuff like that. The Nas's of the world, those dudes, the Khaled's of the world, those dudes, the Rick Ross's of the world, that are getting money on that level, you guys got to step up. When y'all see this going down, you got to bring them to the table and say, yo, man, come on. Listen, this is what it's like to be on this level. You right here, but we're right here. And let us show you how to stay alive to get right here. Y'all got to stop this before somebody gets hurt, especially after these young cats get shot. And, and, and man, I mean, the OGs just got to step in, man, because there was there's rules and regulations and ways to handle things, even in, in the world of gangbanging. You know, they had they had rules and the rules are out the window now. Young people just shooting up everything. They don't even know how to shoot. So they get a gun and it's just, they don't understand what recoil means. And ah, the gun's going all over everywhere. And young people and babies is getting shot. They have to respect and listen to the OGs. And the OGs got to step in and say, hey, youngin, let me holler at you for a minute, bro. Then after that, what they do is what they do. But if they got the word from the OGs that they respect, nine times out of 10, they're going to listen. Because you want to be alive. You don't want to be on nobody's shirt. You don't want to be a mural. <laughs> what yep. is it when you're a mural? Yep. You know, one of the things that you said that I really loved is you like, yo, the OGs got to get involved. But these OGs that you mentioned, uh, they're not just successful in rap. They're not just successful celebrities. They're also credible before they even got into the rap game. Right. Many of them come from the streets, was out there doing their thing, and they was able to take rap and leave the streets behind and go out here. And in some cases, some of them are billionaires now. Right. You can't just have any and everybody talk to these kids. It got to be the ones that they respect, that they know this is somebody who was in my exact situation, in my exact predicament, come from where I come from, and now they excel beyond that and they're able to talk to me on a level, you know, where I can respect them. Right. Absolutely. And one thing we also have to understand is we got to stop asking boys to be men. These are boys. These Ooh. are youngins. They're youngins. We, we did some, you know that, Prez, we did some stupid crap. Yep. We did a lot of stupid crap. I, I, I can remember many a night up in the tunnel with a 45 in my waist mm -hmm. just waiting for it to pop yep. off. Like... Yo, somebody come through here, crazy, talking to all whatever, whatever borough they from, we ready. We in the tunnel. We, we ready to let them hammers fly. I was a youngin. I was 25, 24. So we got to remember who we're talking about and who we're talking to. These are young guys, and we're hoping that they don't make the mistake that's going to end up getting them killed or have them incarcerated for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. Speaking of beef, um, on a more positive note, Kanye West and Drake squashed their beef. Uh, we got to give it up to them because I thought, I, no matter We got to give it how, up to EF Hutton, man. Jay Prince. Yeah. We got to give it up go. to Jay Prince. I don't know give what is going on in this world, but Jay Prince needs to be an ambassador to something. 
Because when Jay Prince speak, bro, people are listening. That's what I'm talking about, an OG that demands and gets respect. When Jay Prince is like, yo, I need to holler at you. Cats is going to be like, what's up? They listen. They listen. He put that together. And, you know, he put that together. And the bigger picture of it is massive, right? Right. Because they came back together. They're doing it for a just cause, um, you know, Larry Hoover. Right. And they're about to do this mega concert. Looking at this thing, I'm like, yo, if these guys at their level can squash the beef, it ain't no reason why youngins who are trying to get that type of paper, who are trying to get that many albums, successful gold, platinum, multi-platinum albums under their belt, that they can't do it. Absolutely. But to your point, yeah, to your point, the OGs got to get involved. Speaking of that, who, who do you think is the bigger artist in those two? Because those are two mega artists. Is it Drake or Kanye West, in your opinion? Wow. Ah. Right now, right now is Drake time. I'm not going to take anything away from him. When it comes to the young boys, it's Drake time. But overall, because I saw Ye do the verses, right? I mean, I saw him do, mm -hmm. I saw him do Drink Champs with Nori. Shout out to Nori Queens all day. And you have to understand that with a dude like Kanye, it's his complete body of work. Not just his rhyming, but his producing, his songwriting. Everything that he's, he's done, if they went head to head, I'm, I'm, yeah, this hat's coming off to Kanye. I don't think he could touch Kanye. With everything that Kanye has done, you got to remember Kanye did like Estelle joints. He did. You, you, you going all the way back to Scarface and Jay-Z. That's a Kanye West track. You, you talking about Lucifer off of Jay-Z's Black Album. That's a Kanye West track. You talking about I Changed My Mind by Keisha Cole. That's a Kanye West track. Like, come on. Drake, you, Drake got a lot of hit records, but Kanye got a bigger body of work overall in the music industry. Absolutely, it's Kanye. Okay, who dropped a better album recently? Kanye with Donda? Drake, Drake. Or Drake with Drake. Certified Loverboy? Drake with Certified Loverboy. Not, no, that's not even up for discussion? Not, not for me, it's not. Mm. No. Drake with Certified Loverboy, for sure. Well, I can't put it this way. I can't wait to see that concert. Yeah, ain't nothing against Kanye. I just, the, the, I, you know, you get to a certain place in your life, you understand what's for you and what's not for you. Mm -hmm. Donda wasn't for me. And I went to the to the joints when he had the joints, especially the one in Atlanta. I went to that one when he had the listening party. And I was like, well, what is this? It just wasn't for me. And there was a lot of young people coming. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It changed my life. Oh, my God. It was the best thing I ever seen in my life. Oh, my God. And I was like, man, I could have stayed home and watched TV. This dude ain't, ain't do nothing. You don't perform. You ain't say hi. I was like, if I paid for this, I would have been pissed. I'm giving up to Drake for the certified level, boy. Yeah, Drake is hard to beat, man. Right now, he, he just, knows he what he's doing. He's a, Drake is LL Cool J, man. He's a new LL. No, you, you know, you know, you know why Drake is so dope because he just gives. Drake knows what his fans want. Yeah, and he ain't trying to remix. He's not trying to add nothing extra to it. He just keeps giving you exactly who Drake is. He's a and, he's and, a and, he's a co a combination. Of LL Cool J and and Ja Rule, cause he sing, yep, and he makes great records for women. He directs his, he knows who his core audience is, and he makes direct records for women. And he sings like Ja Rule, and he's already been battle tested. So, what are you gonna say? You can't say nothing about Drake. I remember one time I was going to D.C. and I was leaving out of JFK. They had a the shuttle. And uh, I saw Drake. It was early in his career before he was a big superstar. You know, he had the mixtapes out and he was bubbling crazy. And it just so happens he was going to D.C. for something. And so was I. And we ended up sitting right next to each other on the plane. And the planes, you know, it's only like two on one side, two on the other side. That's it. That's how small the planes are going from New York to D.C. So we had a nice conversation for the 40 minute flight. And I asked him, what is, what is your ultimate goal? Like when it's when you're done in your career and you're an O.G., how do you want to be remembered? And he said, I just want to be remembered in the same breath as Jay-Z, Biggie, Nas, Rakim, Kane, and all of them. And I think for his generation, that's who he is. He really is. Because he done proved that yeah. he can spit. 
Nah, he absolutely is. I mean, and, and he's consistent as a mother. Hell like, yeah. Hell yeah. He is consistent. Since he dropped in, I think, 2008, there hasn't been a day that several of his songs haven't been on the radio. It hasn't been a day that his songs haven't been streamed. Like, it, But he keeps giving you banging yeah. music. Yeah, he does. And that's how you become the GOAT. 